food. All right, uh, let's go ahead and set everything else up here. Uh, we got to do the old leads and hideouts. So we take one of each of these. These get put underneath this Harper or the uh, this card here. And then these get shuffled together and make the lead stack. Okay. So that's that. And everything else should be all set. So let's go ahead and shuffle and draw. All right. Uh, well, we find a Leo. And we find a deep knowledge, which is nice. Let's pitch these. Let's draw three new cards. Ooh, we find an easy mark. Hawkeye folding camera. Not a bad hand. Not a bad hand at all. Kind of hoping to find a... Kind of hoping to find a lone wolf there, but... Unfortunately, we did not. Let's start with deep knowledge. Ooh, and a blessing. Much appreciated. And, as always, man, so then you always remind me to check the bag. So your blessed token is in there. Thank you, sir. And let's go ahead and add these two curse tokens and then draw our three cards. All right, there's our lone wolf. There we go. Easy game. Easy game. Uh, so our other two actions could be play Hawkeye Folding Camera, play Lone Wolf. That seems fine. Play the Lone Wolf, play the Hawkeye Folding Camera. Uh, we'll go up to two resources next turn. We can potentially go up to six if we draw find another easy mark. And then we can put down that Leo. Uh, so let's go to upkeep. Resource card, we find a second Leo. Mythos phase. Uh, let's go ahead and shuffle the encounter deck. Uh, we're at one doom. And we find on Wings of Darkness. All right. Uh, so at worst, we take a damage and a horror failing this test. Uh, kind of annoying, but not the end of the world. If our plan is to get down Leo... Now, we don't move anywhere, because we're already at the central location, so... Uh, we're currently 4 to 4. Yeah. Let's just deal with it. Alright. Uh, we don't have any clues to place in our location, so we just take one of each. Okay. Investigation. Let's start of our turn, gain a resource with Lone Wolf. Let's let's see here. If we spend our an action this turn playing Easy Mark, next turn we can play Leo, or we could wait till next turn to play the Easy Mark and the Leo, potentially finding yet another copy. Um, if we do that, what's our turn this light? Or, <clears throat> what's our, what's our plan this turn looking like? Um, we could, we could try to grab this clue. Using something like working a hunch. Um, we, we do know that these locations are fairly low shroud. Uh, this one lets us draw four cards. I believe this one lets us gain resources. So we could also, let's, actually, let's move. Let's move into uh, Fish Street. And I don't think we need to do this double action. It essentially serves the same purpose, but eliminates a lot of our turn. So I think instead, let's investigate two to four. Curse, two to two. All right, that's a fail. That's fine. Let's, I guess, just investigate again. 2-4. Curse. 
Elder Sign? That's a pass. If this is an investigation, you may choose any revealed location, and you are now investigating as if you were at that location. Uh, let's choose this one. That's cool. Alright, and then we'll remove that one as well. Just make sure that they are not in there. Alright, cool beans. Well, that was fortuitous, and we also get... We unfortunately don't get... Oh, wait, you are... You are now investigating as if you were at that location, so... I don't know how that would interact with Hawkeye folding camera. Does anyone in chat know how that would work? How does, um... Was this explained in the as if? Should I go look at the FAQ? Okay. That's what I assumed, but I always like to make sure. Okay. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if Hawkeye folding camera triggered action after the action was fully resolved or not, but all right, that's good to know. Let's let's end our turn because there's not much else we can do. Um go to upkeep. We'll draw a copy of Eureka. Okay, so we still don't find our second easy mark, but that's all right. Uh, we'll go to two doom and we find an obscuring fog. Or shroud. Uh, okay. All right. So, start of our turn, we'll gain a resource. I guess let's first action play the easy mark. Gain two resources. Draw. And we draw an obfuscation. All right. Uh, let's play Leo. Six. Let's. So let's see. We could spend our clue. Try to see what lead we find and go from there. And we're going to remember to replace them with encounter cards. Uh, let's see, if we do that... If we do that, we have two actions to potentially deal with it. Um, we're at a force route location. We could wait till next turn to do this. Put another counter on our Hawkeye folding camera. Alternatively, we could just commit one of these skill cards. Try to just pass the old-fashioned way. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a clue. Oh, nice. I still haven't gotten my copy of Horror in High Gear yet. All right, so well, let's draw, and we find New Church Green, which spawns spawns up here. Yes. And star, and yeah, so it's up there. All right, so New Church Green, let's see, uh, has a double action. It says, if there are no clues here, you look at the top card of the lead stick. If it does not have Victory X, you discard it. Group limit once per game. Has a victory point. 
two clues and three shroud. All right, um, that seems worth investigating. Let's then spend our turn moving over there and we will just hang out. All right, uh, that's our turn. Let's go to upkeep again. Okay, we draw a copy of Guts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mythos phase, we're at three doom. And we find an initiate of Dagon. Uh, well, it has no doom on it. It gets plus two fight and plus two evade at the end of the round. If there's, if it's ready and it has no doom on it, place the doom on it. Let's go ahead and put them up at the mash refinery. I mean. I'd hope so, considering the name. All right, let's let's just continue on then with our plan. Let's investigate three to four. Let's commit this three to five. Nice, another elder sign. Okay, I'll go ahead and trigger Eureka and grab that clue. We find Easy Mark, Eureka, and I've got a plan. Um, taking the second Eureka is tempting. We currently don't need more resources, so we can kind of draw the Easy Marks whenever. So I think I'm going to take the Eureka here. And then let's action again. Let's investigate a little Eureka again. Three to five. Ah. Uh, All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, not the end of the world, but let's see here. Uh, we can work a hunch to just grab it free. It's not like we need to deal with this initiate just yet. I think next turn we can kind of move in, use Inquiring Mind, and punch it. I think... I think it's worth spending the time here to just investigate. To grab the uh, victory point <clears throat> and then we can potentially use a clue to draw another lead which speaking of which i did forget to uh put an encounter card here and we'd get a charge in our hawkeye folding camera which would make everything easier um because i don't think there's much else we would do with that last action anyway so let's just investigate and do we commit the second Leo? I kind of want to keep Leo. Last game we needed quite a bit of soak, and I have a feeling we might need it again. So I think I'm going to commit Unexpected Courage here. Uh, six to three. Bless. Minus four. Very nice. That is enough. But we will go ahead and grab this last clue. And put a resource on the Hawkeye folding camera. And let's play Obfuscation. All right. Uh, end of the round. All right. Yeah. So I'm just going to do this now before I forget. Go to upkeep. All right. We draw. I've got a plan. And we're currently at five Doom of six. And our encounter card is the Innsmouth Troublemaker. So he spawns at the location with the most clues, which is currently all the way down on the uh, Fish Street Bridge. He's got Hunter. He's a 4-3-2 enemy. With an action, you can place one of your clues on your location. You can parlay to exhaust him, and he doesn't ready during the next upkeep. And this ability can be triggered by an investigator at a connecting location. Let's... 
starter turn by spending a clue and drawing a lead. We draw Sawbone Alley. Uh, it gets put into play down here, right? It's connected to green and moon, yep. Two Shroud, two Clues, Victory Point. Each humanoid enemy here gets plus two fight and minus two evade. All right. And we can only do that thing once per round, right? Yeah. So I think what we want to do now is let's move. We go to the Marsh Refinery. Uh, the Initiate will engage us. So 2-1-2 two two enemy currently. Let's go ahead and second action punch. We're going to commit Inquiring Mind for 5-2. to two. Oh my goodness. You have to be kidding me. Are you for real right now? We should have two resources as well. What the actual... That is so lame. Come on. All right. Um, that's annoying. Kind of hoping to just punch it and be deal, be done with it. But no. But no. The game decides to be a fucking asshole. Um, annoying. What do we do now? <clears throat> do we just grab the clue? Grab the clue of aid and move? I guess so. Sure. We'll take an attack of opportunity to investigate. One to one to five. And we'll succeed and evade this enemy. I have this clue. And then where do we want to go from here? Kind of want to go here to grab another victory point. So we could move back here. And then this guy would move up here. Next turn, spend a clue, parlay him, and then kind of go and investigate this area of the map. That seems okay, I think. So let's do that. Yeah, I could. Um, the only issue is if I move down here, this guy moves and attacks us. And it doesn't really... It saves us an action, but... We also get attacked for it, so... Oh! Yeah, that's a much better plan. Do we have the resources? We do. Yeah, good call. So yeah, we'll do that then. So we'll move here and then take the bus and we'll move down to the Gilman house. And then enemy phase, this guy will move up. Upkeep, ready. And we'll go to upkeep ourselves. We draw a shortcut. And we'll go to Mythos phase. Six Doom. Shuffle the set aside winged one and both copies of Night Gaunts, along with the encounter discard pile. All right. 
Choose an investigator to take control of the Thomas Dawson story asset. And he does not take up our ally slot. How nice. No, oh, no, we did not stick together. What am I talking about? That would be nice, though. All right. Um, let's make sure we shuffle that deck up real quick. All right. Uh, annoying, because we're going to have to add this Doom back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The meeting in the Sea Devil. And a Night Gaunt. Well then, we currently deal three damage. Um, hmm. We can. We can investigate, cancel the attack. First action. All right, we'll evade this. Let's go ahead and... I don't think we need to heal just yet, so we can save that for later. Let's go ahead and move here. Uh, two to a five. Maybe we should have shortcutted. And then maybe grab the two clues and then spend an action to try to evade, but... I think our plan here is fine. Let's investigate here. Uh, it's gonna be two to a five. Uh, womp womp. Alright, two to a five. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Um Let's Yeah, let's draw a lead. Let's go ahead and spend a clue to draw a lead. And we find uh Mrs. Gilman. So she spawns at the Gilman house with a clue on her. And she has an action to spend three resources and parlay with her to take control of a clue on her and then add her to the victory display. All right. Um, let's move to enemy phase. This guy moves. This doesn't move. Upkeep. Readies. End of the round. We'll go to upkeep ourselves. We draw a second copy of Lone Wolf, which is not very useful. We're at two Doom of seven. And we draw another Innsmouth Troublemaker, uh, which spawns at our location. So that's the location with the most clues. All right, um, let's, let's use this opportunity to investigate. First action, two to a five. All right, so we pass. Let's use Trish to grab, whoops, use Trish to grab both of these clues. All right, let's then make sure we gain a resource with Lone Wolf. Let's go ahead and spend a clue to draw a lead. And we draw Joyce Little, so she gets put into play here with a clue on her. All right. And she has a parlay to test willpower three. Hmm. 
All right, let's then evade. Two to a five. All right, he's evaded. And then we will No matter what, this guy's gonna move up to us. So let's move up. We're gonna get attacked by the Night Gaunt. But I think our plan is to kill it with I've got a plan next turn. Yes, I have. There's 10 cards here. There's nine, there's now 10. I have been shuffling them in there though. I promise you that. So I'm definitely gonna move. Uh, we're at the little bookshop. So after you fail a skill test while investigating here, you shuffle the top card of the encounter deck into the lead stack. Let's start, the, or let's use our last action to do that parlay action to spend a clue, and we'll tap this guy down with his ability. And that'll be that. Uh, enemy phase. The Night Gaunt will move and hit us. And we'll go to upkeep. All right, and uh, we draw in the shadows. We are at three doom of seven. And we draw a fog over Innsmouth. Test willpower three. If you succeed, either take a horror or put fog of Innsmouth into play. If you fail, do both. Each location gets a plus one shroud. All right, um, is Shroud something we care about this round? Not really. Because yeah, I'd rather save this to grab that clue, personally. Or would I? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. No, I think we're okay with taking this. Uh, we're currently three to three, so. And it's a minus one. All right. Uh, so we take a horror, and then that gets placed next to us. And each location has plus one shroud. All right. Uh, let's start with gaining a resource. What we want to do here is we could start with the parlay. Whoa, that was weird. Uh, first action parlay. Uh, we are five to a three. Oh, come on. God damn it. This is all falling apart all of a sudden. Oh, that was gross. Um, that's annoying. That's really, really annoying. Um, well, that kind of changes things. Let's work a hunch. Let's grab a clue at least. And, um, I guess we could grab two and then try to kill this guy. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's grab two clues and then we'll use our second action here to I've got a plan. 
Uh, we're fighting five to a three here, and I'm thinking I really want to pass this test, so let's go four up. Whoo, thank goodness I went four up on that. All right, this guy takes four damage. Let's then... Uh, we don't have any real means of in doing that parlay test. Uh, we don't have money. That guy should have readied. I think what I'm going to do here is go here. Last action. Whoops. And we find a three shroud, one clue location. With an action to search the top six of your deck for an item card and add it to your hand. All right, uh, enemy phase, let's do this. This guy's gonna ready this turn. This guy just hangs out. And that is going to be that. Do I wanna draw from the leads? Um, yeah, I kinda do, I think. We find Furtive Locals. All right, test Intellect 3. If you succeed, either take a damage or put it into play next to the agenda deck. If you fail, do both. Oh, well, excellent. Good thing we did this now. All right, uh, 3 to 5. Okay, that's a pass. Uh, we will put this into play next to the agenda deck. It's a nice little free draw there. And... And we only add an encounter card when we've... Oh no, you do. Do to do, do, reveal, X, draw one of them, shuffle the rest. Yeah, along with the top part of the encounter deck, okay. Yeah, it's not like explore. All right, well, could be worse, I guess. Um, That's our turn. We did enemies and all that stuff. All right, so these go away, and we got upkeep. Doing things a little out of order, but that's fine. Uh, we find a copy of lockpicks. Go to mythos phase. We're at four doom of seven, and another freaking night gaunt. Just when we got rid of one, we find another one. All right, what's our plan here? What is our plan here? <clears throat> we can just investigate three to five. But evade it. Let's gain a resource at the start of our turn. We could play lockpicks investigate. We would have to take at least one attack of opportunity and cancel the other one. Um, alternatively, we could just investigate, cancel the attack. Yeah, let's do that. So, first action, investigate. Three to five. Um... Yeah, we'll just go three to five. All right. Minus one is enough to pass. We'll grab that. Okay. We'll evade this Night Gaunt. Let's move. Hmm. Yeah, we can't really go down here, unfortunately. Uh, the only other locations with clues are over here, so I guess what we'll do is we'll move here. Then spend two resources to move here. Or do we move here? No, I think we move here. And then we can investigate? Or do we move and investigate? I think we move here.
a couple of clues, which is nice. Um, so we move there. Let's let's spend two clues and look at the top two cards here. All right, so we see Barnabas. And we see Zadok. I don't know how people draw with a mouse. Okay. And which one of them do we want to put into play here? Probably Zadok. Yeah. Let's put Zadok into play. Oh, goodness. We'll shuffle Barnabas back. Top card of the leads. Or the top card of the encounter deck into the leads deck. And he gets a clue on him. All right. Um... So we could shortcut parlay. We could just investigate as well. Three to five. We could draw a card. I kind of want to draw here. All right. Uh, we've got a enemy phase. Guy's gonna move up this way. This guy will move this way. No. Well, if he's here, I think he'd he'd move the area. I don't think it matters that much, but that guy readies during upkeep, and that's that. So we're gonna go to our upkeep, and we draw a working a hunch. Okay. And we'll go to Mythos phase. We're at five Doom. And a Crypt Chill. Uh, thankfully, we have a useless asset, so... Two to four. So we fail, we have to take a Horror. And we have to lose this Obfuscation. Which is not the end of the world. Um... All right. Uh, beginning of our turn, we'll gain a resource. Oh, hey, Matt. So we have lockpicks now available to us. Uh, we have obfuscation as well, which might be handy if and when these troublemakers come looking for us. Hmm... So if we play lockpicks, can't really do anything else with our turn. I think at the very least I want to move and parlay with Zadok. Maybe it doesn't really matter. I just like, don't remember what happens when you leave the suspects on the board. I believe they lose aloof. Um, let's let's move. Let's move and parlay. Move parlay. Uh, we are three to four currently. Do we want to move and parlay? If that's the case. We're only three to a four. Is it worth our time to do that? Or is if we play lock picks, we could investigate at an eight and potentially see more leads? That sounds better, I think. All right, so first action, we'll play lock picks. And second action, we'll use the lock picks. 
We'll investigate here at an eight to a three. All right, so we definitely succeed by three or more. Succeed by four. So we'll go ahead and grab this clue. And we will, is it just this top? Look at the top card of the lead stack and then shuffle the lead stack. And we find the house on Water Street. Oh my goodness, there we go. A house. I'll know what that means. There we go, close enough. All right, um, I'll go ahead and put that back. Shuffle that up. Two actions last with our turn. Part of me wants to draw. 12 cards left in our deck. I also kind of want to deal with this as well, because that buys us another turn. Hmm. Let's spend two clues and look at the top two cards of the leads deck. All right. Um, so we find Innsmouth Jail. Which spawns down here. Oh goodness. You're here. Alright, uh Innsmouth Jail is four shroud and a single clue. When you defeat an enemy at Innsmouth Jail, instead of discarding it, you shuffle it into the lead stack. All right, um, two actions left with our turn. What have we seen so far? We've seen the jail, we've seen the alley, and we've seen the church. So we haven't seen the slums. We haven't seen the esoteric order of Dagon. We've seen the jail, yeah, we've seen the alley, we've seen the house. Okay. So we've narrowed it down to one of two locations. Uh, we haven't seen Brian, we've seen Miss Gilman, we've seen Joyce, we've seen Barnabas, and we've seen Zadok, so it's either Robert or Brian. All right, um, yeah, let's just investigate. Three to a five here. Oh my goodness, come on. All right, well, um, that kind of sucks. Let's three to a six. Okay. All right. Um, that's our turn. So we'll go to enemy phase. This guy is gonna move this way. Yeah, let's now let's put him here. This guy's gonna go here. And that's going to be that. No, this guy moves as well. Let's put him there. And that's that. Go to upkeep. We draw a copy of Guts. Okay. And we'll go to Mythos phase. We are at six Doom of seven. And we find another Initiate of Dagon. Has to spawn at any empty location. So I guess we'll put them over there. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, 
severely limits the amount of time I have. Okay, what do we do now? Because the slums is here. And another location's here, and another location's here. Hmm. That's right. Yeah, the house on Water Street is somewhere over here. Slums is here, the house is here, and the esoteric order is here. Can we get enough clues to reasonably get another lead? So at this point, this is mostly encounter cards. Hmm. If we go down here, we could grab grab a clue with working a hunch and try to parlay with Zadok. That would let us see three cards. But then we wouldn't have any clues to deal with the broods. Or the troublemakers. If we managed to do both, that would be great. But um, I kind of also want to save the working a hunch for the last location. Hmm. What do we do here? We could, let's see, action one, good move. Action two, gain a resource with Lone Wolf. Um,. Let's see, so if we shortcut action one, spend two resources move. Could heal. Move investigate. That doesn't sound too bad. Uh, the reason we would investigate here is because Joyce allows us to trigger Trish. Because the enemy just has to be at your location. It doesn't have to be engaged with you. So let's see. Let's shortcut. Let's then first action move here. Let's spend two resources to move here. Okay. Action two. We will go ahead and heal to horror. Action three let's move and action four let's investigate uh two to a five we could go two to a seven well we can actually just use lock picks go to up to an eight and that is currently a two so we grab two clues here come on okay grab those two clues and then let's spend these clues to look at the top three cards of the leads deck. And they're all encounter cards. Of course. <laughs> of course. Oh, I'm supposed to draw one of those, aren't I? Yeah, whoops. I... Uh, Guess I would draw a false lead because that gains surge. And I find the house on Water Street. So it gets put into play up here. Uh, after you successfully investigate the house on Water Street by three or more, either draw the top card of the encounter deck or shuffle that card into the leads deck. That 
it spawns up there. All right. Um, so unfortunately, we're not able to glean any new information off of that. So we have to make our accusation this turn. So we have some decisions to make here. So we're going to have to advance here. Uh, let's go to upkeep, I guess. Or let's do our enemy phase. Uh, this guy moves. This guy moves. This guy moves. Nothing else moves. Okay. Uh, upkeep. Draw an inquiring mind. Okay. And... What are we... Choosing here, chat. So yeah, so we have to make our accusation here. Right, so, all right, all right. Who am I choosing, Brian or, or Robert? Yeah, uh, let me, I can actually just do a poll here real quick. So, hold on, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, what is our accusation? Accusation? Uh, so we have Robert with the Esoteric Order of Dagon, and we have uh, Brian at the Esoteric Order of Dagon, and then we have Robert, uh, what's the other location called? Do, 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 the, the slums. Or we have Brian at the slums. So those are the four available options. And they're all equally as likely, so. At least from the looks of it. Uh, what do I think? Personally, Brian always seems to be a troublemaker in my games, so I'm leaning towards Brian. And as far as location, uh, I don't trust the Esoteric Order of Dagon, but you never know. They might not let him in because he's not from the town, so we'll see. We shall see. What do we got for votes so far? All right, well, you both think it's Robert. That's interesting. I think it was Brian in our last playthrough, wasn't it? I believe it was. Could be mistaken. I believe it was, we got the jail. If I remember correctly in our last playthrough. All right, while you, while you guys vote, I'm going to uh, step out real quick here.
Ooh, jeez. All right, well, it looks like we've got Robert in the clear lead here. And I see quite a few votes for EOD, so unless anything's going to sway in the next minute or so here, looks like that's going to be our accusation. So I think the more I play these two particular scenarios, um, I think the more I really enjoy the second one. The first one, it's it's difficult, and I think it's interesting as a puzzle to kind of figure out, but it feels so random. Like, where the locations come in just feels so random that it can really affect, like, how, you, how well your run goes. And, like, what keys you get is really tough too so was this scenario does something kind of similar to midnight masks but with a different twist on it or as the map kind of develops over time which is really cool and that they did something kind of different with the leads deck versus uh, Murder at the Excelsior is cool, too. All right, and in the last couple of seconds here... Looks like we have Robert at the Esoteric Order of Dagon. All right, let's see if our accusation is correct here. We have the Esoteric Order of Dagon. And we have... Woo! Wow! Nice job, chat! There we go. All right. All right. All right. All right. Nice. Very nice, chat. I don't think I've ever gotten it right both times. Very nice. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here at the interlude. Because I don't remember what happens when you get both correctly. Do, 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 do. If both cards match, uh, the investigators are correct and may proceed. Okay. In order to set up, blah, 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 you advance directly to Act 2A, advance to 3A, put the hideout location. Okay, so the... Doesn't look like you really win much. Looks like you just don't have to deal with the mob. Is that correct? I believe that's correct. Do, 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 do. And correct, you put the hideout location into play, add an additional clue to it. Okay. Uh, place Elena Harper there, which we did. Spawn the suspect at that location. That enemy is the kidnapper. Remove the leads deck from the game and you are ready to proceed. Okay. This just goes away forever. All right. And let's put Joyce here. Let's just do a little cleaning up of the board. So Robert Friendly, thankfully, has a very low evade value. So if we have to spend actions to evade him, we can at least reliably do that. Uh, he do doesn't spawn any clues on him, does he? I think you ignore all that stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. The kidnapper loses aloof and gets plus one health. Can't be parlayed with. If the kidnapper is in the victory display, are there are no clues on the location... Which is going to be super easy because we're just going to go in there and work a hunch and that'll be that all right uh well let's at least go through the formality of our last mythos phase here all right uh we have to take two damage 
So we don't have a clue to spend. What do we win? Uh, I guess you get to win the fact that we're going to be on YouTube. So I guess everyone say hello to YouTube. All right. Do, 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 do. Well, that doesn't really matter. And it is worth a victory point nonetheless as well. All right. So first action, we'll go ahead and move and then we will work hunch. Gain a resource from Lone Wolf. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, we did pretty well this scenario, all things considered. And then that's that's it, right? We would advance. Yep. And Robert was the kidnapper, so we would go to resolution seven. Slightly changes the flavor text. Uh, so we earned victory X and the mission was successful. Oops. My goodness, there we go. All right. And then we proceed to the interlude, but let's check how much experience we got here. Uh, we didn't get Water Street, but we did get New Church Green. We got experience at the Sawbone Alley, and we got experience here. So that's three. Looks like it. Not too bad. And then proceed to the interlude. Or I believe we would just get to spend the three experience shortly afterward. And we get to include the Alina Harper asset. Let's, let's take a quick look at this. Ooh, very nice, yeah. We certainly do want this in our deck. So we are going to go ahead and include that in the deck as well. Oops, change windows here, there we go. All right, so three experience. Are we putting in a Lola and calling it a day, or? Kind of liking the deck so far now at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and include, include Elena. We could also play Charisma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Matt and I just had the same exact idea. Well, I think I think if we were to play Lola, we'd probably take out Leo. Um I think Lola kind of serves a similar purpose in generating actions. Especially with Trish, because you also get to evade enemies when you grab clues with Lola, so. But yeah, we definitely want Alina plus Lola. That's that's tasty, for sure. So, so yeah, I am inclined to agree with Matt in the Department of Charisma for the deck. 